Well, folks, I told you we could expect the left to politicize the church shooting in Texas earlier this week and run around demanding more illegal infringement to your Second Amendment. And sure enough, that has happened. Not only that, but Texas laws that emphasize firearm freedom are being raked over the coals. USA Today lamented the concealed carry permit laws in Texas, referring to them as lax and inexpensive. Not that any of this matters. Any permit can best be described as a government agency taking away your rights and selling them back to you. But the cost of the concealed carry permit aside, Devin Patrick Kelly was denied such a permit, and he should have been. He received a dishonorable discharge from the U.S. Air Force for two counts of domestic violence, one against his wife and the other against his child. As a strong advocate of the Constitution, I've always maintained that all that's required to remove constitutional rights from an individual is due process, which Kelly has received. And with all of the federal gun laws in place, this guy still managed to pass a background check and purchase his firearm. He used that firearm to murder 26 people and wound over 30 others. He joins a long list of others who passed a background check, then used their firearms to commit crimes. Omar Mateen's mass shooting at Pulse nightclub, Saeed Farouk and Tashfin Malik shooting up a Christmas party, the UCLA gunman, Umpqua Community College, the Lafayette Theater, the Aurora Theater, the Chattanooga attack on the recruiting office, the Muhammad cartoon attackers, the DC Navy Yard, Gabby Giffords shooter, Virginia Tech, Nadal Hassan at Fort Hood, and literally the list goes on and on and on of shooters who passed a background check proving that it will never stop someone bent on committing crime. But you know what will? Stephen Williford, the good guy with a gun who saved lives earlier this week. Witnesses say if not for his brave intervention, the shooting at the church would have been much worse. President Donald Trump made a statement from Japan saying, quote, fortunately somebody else had a gun that was shooting in the opposite direction. Otherwise, it would have been much worse, unquote. Thankfully, President Trump gets it even if the left never will. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.